Hey everybody, welcome in. This is Love Goddess Tarot and my name is Maureen. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome in. I do pick a card love reading every week here on YouTube and I'm really happy that you're joining me. If you come back all the time and you haven't subscribed yet or even if it's your first time, hit the subscribe button. It's free. It's easy. It's just like following me and be sure to write your comments below and like this video when it's done. Um, today's pick a card love reading is going to look at who is your next boyfriend and I am really excited because not only am I doing a tarot reading I'm going to be using the writer deck um, but also I'm using new cards the tea leaf fortune cards came and I have wanted these for so long and because of your tips and donations I was able to use that money to partially pay for it so um, thank you for last month's donations it really helped um, it helped me purchase these so thank you for that and if you want to leave a tip or donation it really helps my channel just click the thanks button or you can always go to my website and leave one there um, because of you know as I said because of last month's I was able to offset the cost and purchase new new cards so I have wanted the tea leaf fortune for a really long time and I'm using them today so we're gonna get a lot of information about your next boyfriend okay including like months that are important when you might meet um, you know who this person is personality all that stuff so today you have four piles to choose from and I decided to use roses I was feeling very inspired and um, group number one you have the red rose group number two you have the white rose group number three you have the pink rose and group number four you have the purple rose so see which rose you're drawn to and if you can't decide listen to as many as you're called to listen to these are general readings so take what works and leave the rest okay i'll see you in a minute the timestamps are below hi number one here's your reading you chose the red rose pile and we're going to start with your tarot cards you have the four of cups and the page of cups okay beautiful a lot of water energy coming through Ooh, and the knight of wands okay oh i love it um so let's start with the four of cups what i'm feeling well actually let's look at all three together because what i'm kind of feeling about this person is um this could be someone that has been interested in you for a while and maybe you were feeling a little bit like focused on other things or you may have missed you know this person's like you know miss the signs that they were interested because the four of cups is always about an opportunity is there but you're not paying attention so it's like here's the universe handing you this cup but you're focused on other things it's right there it's right there but what's really exciting is i see the cup is right here so the page of cups is coming in this is water sign energy this can be a cancer pisces or scorpio um, but we also have the knight of wands so i feel like this person has a lot of fire in them is very passionate is very um you know like very like someone who shows affection very affectionate somebody who's going to move really fast um i do feel like there is a potential for two people coming in this could be a water sign and a fire sign or it could be someone that combines both um, but i do feel like this person is going to move quickly okay because of that knight of wands energy the knight of wands comes in and sweeps you off your feet this is you know as i said like could be a leo sag aries a fire sign or just someone who's super affectionate um, knows what they want and goes for it okay um and it's interesting because you started with that um four of cups and then you got the page of cups so that's what i feel like i feel like it could be a second chance for some of you with this water sign person and um there could be another in the future energy coming in i feel like the water sign energy is pretty close to now this is pretty close to the present um it's in the present position and this 
um, fire sign energy is in the future but there isn't there could be an opportunity for someone coming back or someone who was interested in the past and it could be Pisces energy um, as well as this fire sign person coming in but we'll see what else comes up with the rest of your cards okay so here are the tea leaf cards and if you didn't watch the intro thank you to everyone that donated I was able to use my donations to offset the cost and get new cards including the tea leaf which I'm so excited and love them I wanted them for so long okay so we have the four leaf clover great good fortune I love it we have June okay that's interesting because that's kind of cancer time frame we have February and March we also have success with the four leaf clover okay so that's really positive energy worth waiting for oh i love that with the four of cups okay so hmm, i feel like you're worth waiting for and i do think there is the possibility with this water sign person um of getting another chance with you okay and we have birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Wow. Okay. And you have the dog, number 18. The dog is a loyal companion. The do dog is someone who could be a friend first and then a really, you know, then a love, which is interesting because it could be that for some of you, this water sign energy that's coming through could be someone that you didn't kind of think of in that way, or you weren't really paying attention because they're just kind of always there. They're always there for you. This is someone who, um, also could start off as a friend and then move forward so yeah i am kind of feeling two energies here for you okay um i'm feeling this person that has this water sign connection this pisces cancer scorpio the possibility of someone coming back um we do have june here as one of the months connected to this relationship um, and then we have the Knight of Wands, right? So the Knight of Wands feels like this success, this four leaf clover energy. This, I feel like this person is very successful. Um, they have a lot of energy. They have a lot of, um, fire. They have a lot of success in their life. And I feel like they are going to bring that kind of really high energy to you. Um, but there's also this other, this kind of this watery, sweet energy. Okay. Um, hmm, it's interesting. Um, and the birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. That's really amazing because this talks about you having the ability to kind of manifest your dreams right and we have the success card and the four leaf clover so for some of you if you've like immediately identified a person whether it's the knight of wands a, a sagittarius aries leo that you've been thinking about or someone that you've really kind of imagined you'd like a relationship with or someone that you've thought like hey this is what i really want in a connection um this card is really encouraging you that you're on the right path and you are going to manifest it okay you have the ability to you know to dream your world into being so the advice here is to let go of whatever didn't work in the past because you have so much positive energy coming through for your next relationship for your next boyfriend um it is worth waiting for right um with the four of cups that's a waiting that's kind of a distracted uh not paying attention a focused on the past kind of card um but the universe is saying no you've got two big opportunities here or you've got one big opportunity that's going to really satisfy your heart your love but also inspire you and there's a lot of success around this connection okay so the months of june which could be that page of cups energy we have february as well um which could be aquarius um pisces too with that page of cups and march oh yeah and march too march could be aries which we have here and um pisces 
this could also be a time when you guys connect okay or some maybe one of these months is your birthday as well okay um but i love that the dog came up too because it's like this is just such a loyal person this is someone who's going to be a good friend and have your back you know and the number 18 is um, nine in numerology. And that means you're so close. And I do feel like you are so close. I think that maybe in the past you weren't paying attention or you were focused on past hurts. But in the present, I see you being open. I see you being open now to this love. And I see that it'll move quickly because you have um, maybe let go of some things in the past, okay? Um, and if you've been feeling like, God, I've been waiting so long for a relationship, the message of worth waiting for divine timing is at work is a really powerful one okay you have four leaf clover and success this can be the wheel of fortune the four leaf clover card this can be something really big is about to change and that's also that divine timing okay there's also a lot of success around this knight of wands energy i'm picking up on i'm feeling a lot of you know energy of success Okay, let's get to you some initials and letters about your person. This could be their initial, your initial, a place, something connected to the two of you. Okay, we have Z, J, B, K, O, O, E, D, Y, B, a lot of Bs, um, P, M, F, and D, okay? So you can pause the video, see if anything jumps out, your initial, um, possibly their initial or a place. You put this on top so you can see it. We have June, February, and March coming through. Okay, so um, now I'm going to get you some channeled messages about this person. Who is your next boyfriend, number one? We have Hazel Gray. Okay, so that's eye color. We have green, just the color green. That could be eye color. It could also just be a favorite color. We have Cancer. Wow. And Cancer came through with June and with the Page of Cups. Um, so that's interesting. Ooh, December. That could be that Sag energy. Feel it in your gut. Yes. Feel it in your gut. You have the ability. You know, this is about a dream situation or something that you're manifesting. So um, you would definitely have an intuitive connection, especially with that page of cups. That's a real emotional connection. Try something new. Try something new. So there could be a um, an activity that you do, something that's different, um, that connects you with this person. There could also be like... Um, if you try a new course or, you know, something as simple as like taking a different route to like work or going to a different coffee shop, you know, switching from Dunkin' Donuts to Starbucks or Starbucks to Dunkin' Donuts. I know that's a weird thing, but it just popped in. So, you know, take it if it works and if it resonates. Um, but trying something new could be connected to the two of you connecting, okay? We have guitar. Ooh, so this person could be a musician. Maybe you play guitar. Maybe there's a music connection there. Sandy hair. Okay, so that's light colored hair. We have blue green. So green came up, blue green and hazel gray. Okay. Ooh, got a lot here. So you have work, phone, make one step to a healthy lifestyle. Ooh, so something connected for some of you, there could be a connection to like working out, taking a class, hiking, walking, exercising. Ooh, green, hazel, here we go, gray hazel twice. Okay, so that came through twice. And Virgo, 
Okay, so there are all your messages. You've got lots today. Um, now I'm going to roll the Astro Dice and see what other messages come up. Signs and symbols besides the ones we talked about. You have Pisces. Yes, with that Page of Cups. I was feeling that Pisces energy. Um, okay, you have Venus, the planet of love. Venus also rules Taurus and Libra. Um, you have 10, 1. Okay, so we have October, January, possibly. We have Jupiter and Mercury. Okay, oops, I turned it around. Mercury, the ruler of Virgo. Yes, you did get Virgo energy. Mercury is all about communication. So you're getting messages here about... Um, about love, about communication. This person could be very romantic. They could also be a good writer or just send really sweet texts, like, you know, just a heart or something like that came through. Um, so this 10th house is career and work. There was a work message here too. So um, there could be a connection with you and this person through work. The first house is self. It's about your appearance. So maybe there's a connection with going, changing, making a change, or maybe some of you recently made a change in like your hair, color, highlight, something. Um, and you know, that's a connection for you. That's also January time frame. We had February, we have March, and what was the other month we had? June, yeah. And we have Jupiter. Jupiter! Jupiter is the planet of good luck and good fortune and success. And those are two of the cards that you got, two of your messages today. So there's confirmation about that success. Okay, beautiful. So here's all of your information. Um, I am sending you so much love. If you would like to go deeper, if you want to learn more about this person or any love question that you have, there are a couple of things you can do. Um, you can book a reading with me. I have three choices. I have a shout out reading. A shout out reading is a, um, a reading that I do while I'm um, recording a video like this one. So you get your answer on the YouTube video that you're watching. So it's pretty cool. And I answer it within a week. Um, one card, one question is $11. One question, three cards is 33. And then if you really want an in-depth love personal reading, you can book that with me. That is 20 minutes. It's recorded. You get a private link and you can watch it at home. If you have your birth time, place and um, date, I can really include a lot of astrology as well, which really pinpoints timing, soulmate energy, past life stuff. So that's really much more in depth. You can book that as well. All of those are booked on my website. Okay. And the link is below. You pay using any credit card. Super easy. Okay. So now let's do a charm reading and see what messages charms have about your person. This can be a little loud, so you might want to turn the volume down. While you do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Number one. Okay. Ooh, I see the big open heart. And the anchor connected to the duck, which is funny. The duck is all about being playful, letting yourself go a little. And I think with the anchor, it's a message about enjoying things and also letting go of something, okay? And ha being sort of lighter, trying something different, which is some of the messages that you've gotten today. Um, the big heart is just about love and being open and being ready. And you also have the message, believe in love. Um, you have the... Um, dream catcher, which is all about manifesting your dreams and dreams coming true. And maybe you've dreamt about this, which is also one of the messages you got today, birthing a new age, dreaming a new world into being. Okay. So we have confirmation of that. Um, you have the Aquarius charm coming up, which is um, beautiful. And also a confirmation of that February message. Um, Oh, this is, I love this. This is the cactus. So this can be a message about like the desert Southwest, Arizona, Texas. Um, this can also be just a message about, um, also it's like, I love the little flowers. Um, this can just be about 
you know, having a drought and have not dating for a while and then finally something happening, which you had that worth waiting for um, message in the Oracle. Ah, uh, and we have the, sh the fish that's really tired, worn out. This is a message um, to take care of yourself, okay? So there could be someone that needs that message of, it, listen, if you're really tired, get that extra rest, you know, eat better. Just take care of yourself emotionally, physically, okay? So I just want to share that someone needs that message. Okay, so those are all of your messages today. I hope you enjoyed today's reading. Um, I am sending you so much love and come back soon. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, number two, you picked the white rose and here is your reading. Starting with your tarot messages about your next boyfriend. We have the page of swords reversed and the page of pentacles you've got some good news coming you have good opportunities coming and it's really right in the present and we have the three of pentacles okay wow a lot of earth energy coming through today for you um around this person okay so what i see here is the opportunity for a relationship with someone who is really down to earth a really hard worker, somebody who can be like, you know, like a, a helpful person, someone who's going to help you, someone who's going to be like create something, someone who can help you build something. Um, when we look at the past card here with the Page of Swords reversed, um, I feel like there may have been people in your past or friends around you or people, maybe even exes, um, air sign energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, um, who maybe weren't that supportive, who really um, maybe even hurt you, hurt your feelings, or just weren't sensitive enough to who you are as a person. Um, and what I see is like a change. I see you letting go of people that really aren't there for you. And this person coming in is someone who's really going to help you and who's going to like, you know, just be your supporter, be your biggest cheerleader, someone who wants to build something together, something lasting. Like this is the beginning of a possibly long-term relationship. Um, whenever you have the Page of Pentacles, it's an opportunity or a gift from the universe coming in. This pentacle is something you value. It could also be um, financial. This could be a financial opportunity or there could be a connection to finances, to money, to some, you know, some opportunity like that, a new job, a bonus, um, a gift, an inheritance, some money of some sort connected to or around the meeting or or this relationship with this person, right? Um, and the Three of Pentacles is all about being with people who are going to build a solid foundation, right? This is this is a really good card to have in a relationship. And I feel like there could be some sort of connection to friends, right? The Page of Swords reversed, I feel like is people that are like gossiping, people that aren't really giving you good news, people that are maybe are kind of downers or they're just negative people. And I feel like you're releasing them or you're releasing one negative person from your past. Um, and I feel like that that happened in the past. And what's coming in is this opportunity for a connection with someone who shares your values, who's honest, who's hardworking. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is a little bit slower. So this person is definitely going to take their time okay this relationship's going to build over time that's the message that i just got this is someone who likes to take it easy they want to be sure they want to make sure everything's okay this is like someone who's just kind of shy maybe even a little bit somebody that is careful with their feelings is careful with other people's feelings which is nice um so yeah, and it could be earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and there could be a connection with you and this person through work. Okay. Um, but I see that after you let go of some of this sort of negative energy around you is when this new opportunity shows up. Okay. But it is good and it is positive. So that's exciting. And it's like I said, it could be the beginning of something longer term. 
Okay, let's look at the rest of your messages. And if you didn't watch the intro, I got my um, <laughs> I got my tea leaf fortune cards. I'm so excited. Um, thank you to everyone who donated. Your donations last month offset the cost, and I was able to it helped me purchase them. Okay, so thank you for that. I've been wanting these for so long. Okay, so you have December, October. August. Ooh, October's coming up and it's right under the page of pentacles. Okay, we have health. Interesting. I'm sorry, wealth. Wealth. Okay, I said health, which is weird. So I just want somebody to take care of their health if that's something, a message you need. Um, but wealth is interesting because of the page of pentacles. So there's that money, there's that pentacle energy coming through. Line these up a little bit. And we have eagle, triumph over troubles, obstacles. Ooh, the eagle flies above the negativity is the message that I'm hearing with that page of swords. Um, that's, you know, the eagle maybe has been through trouble and rises above and is able to transform and change. That's also Scorpio energy too. Okay, so we have December, October, and August as possible months. Um, with the wealth card coming through and the eagle card triumph over obstacles this page of swords energy represents the past and maybe that is some obstacle that you've overcome or that you are in the process of overcoming okay um this relationship as i said is helping you this is a builder this is someone who wants to who's a hard worker someone who's going to put the work in when it comes to a relationship someone who you could build wealth with right? Because we have the building card, we have the page of pentacles, and we have the wealth. These are all wealth cards. So that's really amazing. Um, it can also, as I said, be connected to a gift, to a promotion, to something at work, okay? Changing a job. Ooh, there's the long-term commitment. Yeah. And pinnacle energy is definitely commitment energy. Someone who's willing to commit, someone who's willing to go the long distance, right? Um, somebody who wants to build something. So you may build a house together, a relationship, a marriage. There's a wedding. This situation involves marriage. So yes, for some of you, this person could end up being someone that you marry. Um, maybe also you connect with this person at a wedding okay if you have a wedding to go to october december august let me know okay and you have the message unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives wow so this is a fresh start this is a new beginning this is about letting go of negative thinking you know with that page of swords maybe that's um part of it you know these patterns these these contracts from our past life that's also like that beautiful eagle soaring connects that with that which is like overcoming troubles and obstacles okay and this this is interesting because in this card we have three people three women pictured who are like flying above who are rising above and we have the three of pentacles here I feel like you're going to have support of friends. Um, this is a supportive connection, a supportive relationship. And um, there's something about you releasing negative patterns that allows you to move to this relationship. This is definitely a new beginning, and it's very, very positive, this relationship. I love that that came up under, you know, the unbound with the eagle underneath. Okay, beautiful. And you have number 16. And the number 16 is the star card. And the star card is wishes come true. See all the stars in the heart? And this is like also like North Star, like something divine, something guiding you. Um, wow, this, is, this could be a real dream come true for you. This might be something that you've wished for. Um, I love that 
that there's also a ship here and there's clouds in the sky that are like parting and that really for me i'm just really connecting this message with the eagle and the unbound message triumph over troubles because see how there's like clouds parting almost and this person sailing off after a difficult time so i feel like you're letting go of some sort of negative energy that page of swords reversed is just feeling like that negative energy negative talk maybe of people around you or self-talk or these old patterns or this past life energy but this is about transformation and change but i love it because unbound is like they're moving up towards the light and um with the stars this is a message of inspiration of dreams coming true of moving towards that divine guidance so i see this as a really really powerful and positive connection for you congratulations this is beautiful and so we have also the number 16 which in numerology would be a seven which is that spiritual and divine connection so i love that that also could be an important number for you or date um so we have December, October, and August. And if you're watching this right after I'm posting it, October is coming up. And don't forget to watch my October um, video. I just posted October's monthly. So check that out, okay? And see if there's any connections here for you with the October monthly since you got the message of October. Okay, now some of you could be born in August, October, or December. This could be... Um, December, at the end of December, we're looking at Capricorn energy with the um, pentacles here. For October, that can be um, Scorpio, which we have with the eagle message, and August could be Leo or Virgo. And we do have the builder and we have the pentacle. So um, all of that is really connecting. But the wealth card is wild because of that page of pentacles. There could be some real, like, wealth you know, possible with this connection, but also um, for you in general, I feel like opportunities are definitely coming for you. Okay, this is a really positive connection. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so now I'm going to roll the astro dice. Let's see what other signs and symbols come up. Oops. Okay, this one Pisces. We have Jupiter. We have 11th house, 6th house, Mercury, and the moon. Okay, beautiful. Um, so the um, Pisces zodiac sign came up. So we have Pisces energy. Um, we have the moon, which is that emotional connection that can also be cancer energy. Um, Mercury, which is communication, but I'm also feeling that Virgo there. Um, Jupiter is good luck, expansion, um, good luck, good fortune, expansion, wealth. Um, so you're getting confirmation about the wealth message. Oops, I turned it over. Um, and then we have 11 and 6. 11 um, is the 11th house in astrology and that's friends groups um internet um this is hopes dreams and wishes too in astrology and you do have the star card of wishes and dreams coming true so that's pretty amazing and you have six um six is work six is virgo we have a lot of virgo here with the work with the three of pentacles with the page of pentacles there could be a connection for you with work with health also um remember i said health instead of wealth when i first pulled this card the sixth house is health in astrology too so um that could be a message for someone not everyone but um take that if it resonates and you know leave it if it doesn't um but yeah that's really amazing. I love this idea of soaring above kind of the crap and the like this, this also this card a lot of times for me represents like gossip or people that like just are negative talking or just like chatter. That's a bunch of crap that isn't important. Um, and I feel like I just want to tell you to focus on your dreams, focus on building the life you want, release any sort of negative patterns, um, because you do have this beautiful opportunity here with that page of pentacles. And this is dream energy with the star card so let go of anything that's kind of like holding you back whether it's your own kind of internal chatter or any kind of like external okay so 
let's get you some channeled messages about this person. Number two, September denim jacket, the color brown. That could be eyes, hair, skin, favorite color. I'm still healing. Interesting because I said health, sixth house, healing, health, wellness, adventure, take a risk. Could be a risk taker, someone you, maybe you need to do something differently. We have tattoo, sweatshirts. So we have sweatshirt, denim jacket, and dog. Okay, so you've got dog. Take out, meaning take out food. Ooh, okay, a lot came out. So we have smile. Someone's smile could be really the thing that attracts you or you notice. Maybe someone tells you you have a beautiful smile all the time. Um, the color red. Boat. Oh, wow, I love it. Because even though this is the star card, the boat is pictured and you got the boat message. So I feel like that's a focus point there. Um, average, meaning average height, average weight. Ooh, and the number 18. Okay, the number 18 came through. So those are your channeled messages. Um, now let's get you some initials and letters. Okay, so you have M, E, J. Ooh, that one almost went in the fire. E, <laughs> Z, E, B, I. I like biz, B, I, Z, because I'm thinking business. Um, P, I, U, G, and O. Okay, oops, there's another O. So there are letters that could be connected to you, to this person, to your relationship, a place. Um, okay, so you can pause the video, think about that for a moment. And now I'm gonna do a charm reading for you. So let's get some messages from the charms. Um, if you haven't done this before, it can be a little loud. So you might wanna turn the volume down. If you have headphones in, um, go ahead and do that. And please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All those things are free. They're e oh, wait a minute, you guys. I missed this one. We have Gemini. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't see it over there. Um, so we have Gemini and Pisces. Um, all those things are free. They really, really help. Donations help. I was able to purchase, which I've been loving and wanting for so long, the um, T Fortune card. So thank you to everyone. Your donations help me pay for those. So thanks. Um, you can click the heart and make a donation, leave a tip if you enjoyed today. And if I help you in general or you want to support me, it really helps offset the cost of new cards and all of the equipment for my channel. So thank you. If you want to get a private reading, there's a couple you can do. I do two kinds of shout out readings. Those are done while I'm filming and I pull a card during a video. Um, you can send me a question. It's super easy. You get a private link to view your um, to view it before it even comes out um, and then you also just get the link to the actual YouTube video so you can watch it so you'll see it um, and I pull one card for you with one question is $11 or three cards three quests three cards one qu question is 33 if you want to get a really in-depth love reading I do a 20 minute in-depth where I go into soulmate energy twin flame your love life timing all that very specific so all that's on my website. You can book it there. Really simple. Use any credit card, okay? So here we go. Wow, look what came up, number two. Look at this. That page of swords energy. Letting go of that any kind of negativity, speaking your truth, getting clear, cutting through any kind of negative stuff. You have the peace charm of peace and tranquility. I feel like that's this triumph message over any troubles or obstacles. Um, this is the letting go message. Also the fall. 
um, which could be October time frame, um, the leaf and look what's here. Hello. Let me pull it out so you can see it. You had three of pentacles, but you had the page. There it is. Confirmation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, work, money, finances, a gift, an opportunity, something you value, something you really love. The shell from Aphrodite, which is the true love, romance, and believe in yourself. Yes, believe in yourself. If you are struggling, know that you've gotten wealth messages. You've got that pinnacle energy, the page of pentacles. Um, this beautiful energy is coming towards you. Potential for wedding, um, long-term security, letting go of things that are like past life stuff contracts that you are releasing so this was a biggie i can't wait to hear all of your comments and your stories if you claim this please write below in the comment section and let me know i am sending you so much love come back next time i'll see you soon bye hey, number three you picked the pink rose here is your reading we're going to start with your tarot messages about your next boyfriend we have the three of wands and temperance and the six of wands wow this is solid fire sign energy that just came through even temperance temperance is fire and water alchemy um balancing things but it's also sagittarius energy so we have a lot of sag energy we have leo and aries as well um so the fire is here Okay, um, let's take a look at this message. Um, wow, this is <laughs> the person coming in um, is someone who has a lot of charisma, somebody who is very like attractive, someone who feels like dynamic are the words that are coming through for me. That Sag energy in the center is very powerful. And there could be an element of travel connected to um, the two of you. This person um, is someone who is about to or has recently moved, um, taken a journey. You may even have met when traveling. Um, and there could be a little bit of... Um, like a little bit of a distance between you that that you have to kind of be patient about okay because there definitely is this message of divine timing um with temperance it's all about you know going with the flow of the universe going with the flow of the angels of god of heaven and just knowing that there's a higher power going on here there's this a part of a divine timing and a plan um and i do feel like this person is is definitely um is definitely going to win your heart <laughs> okay this is a like i said this is a successful person this is someone who um it's just like they've set their mind to travel they've set their mind to moving to changing their life and they're going to succeed whatever it is this person has set their mind to they succeed at okay there's a lot of leo energy here too um this could be something that maybe the two of you are working together on or maybe even eventually do some project or um, do something creative together. But this is about, I just, I just feel like I'm really focused here for some reason on the temperance. Um, I feel like there's this, it's kind of a long journey. There's a long journey for the two of you to get together. That's what came through. There's a long journey for the two of you to get together, but it's really worth it. It's like there's fire, right? There's the fire. There's the success. You have to be patient. You have to be patient. That's the message. The universe is saying you have to be patient, but this is beautiful energy and it's very romantic, very fiery, and it might take a little while because I do think there could be distance um, involved. Okay, so maybe you meet this person when you're away or they meet you when they're visiting someone um, and then they have to plan and they have to make a strategy to get to you and you have to be patient because there's some time in between, but this is going to be really great. Okay, so wow, I love it. Okay, um, let's see what other messages are coming through about this connection. Okay, we have January. 
January is also, um, it's interesting because I'm thinking like Sagittarius energy, November, December, and then there's like a little bit of distance, January, April, and May, so spring. Okay, so we have January, April, and May coming through. These could be months, birth months. This could also be a time when you two connect. Um, this can be Capricorn energy. Um, this uh, Capricorn Aquarius. This can be um, Aries, Taurus, and um, May is Gemini and Taurus. Okay, so we're kind of looking at those um, as time frames as well. Um, we have career and flute disappointment in a friend or a lover Ooh, okay so here you go this is interesting um you know may have, some of you may have been disappointed in the past but i feel like this is connected to this person and that's that message of temperance of patience because of the flute it's like take your time know that it's coming don't be disappointed the person will ultimately succeed they might be delayed they might be planning um, they're trying to get there. They're trying to get there. Um, there could be some connection to work, to your career with you and this person. That could also be part of what's keeping you apart, right? Um, there could be a little bit of a delay because of that. But I definitely see things thawing in January, thawing out. And then the springtime, it seems to be when it blossoms, okay? Um, so those definitely, those are messages are really feeling, I'm feeling that. Okay, um, so we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes, have faith. That's part of temperance. Temperance is having faith, having faith that there is a plan, letting go, allowing, going with the flow of the universe, knowing that this is going to happen, trusting your person. There's, you know, there's a part of this that you're just going to have to trust. They are going to come through in the end. The six of one is success it's victory this person's coming through you just have to trust right okay we have luminari creating heaven on earth it's happening wow wow yeah and you know what remember how i said i was drawn to this part of the temperance card which normally isn't what we're focused on way down here but it's like creating heaven on earth look at this picture and look down there. It's like, this is like a whole new world. I feel like this person is, is very creative, very um, ambitious. I feel like they have a lot of ambition. And I do think they're going to be very successful if they haven't um, achieved everything yet in life. They have a lot of big plans. And you know what, they're going to succeed. The six of wands is success. Okay, so trust, have faith, that temperance message. Um, there might be a little bit of a disappointment or maybe even the past, or maybe this is something that's recently happened to you. And this is an acknowledgement. Maybe some of you, there's the musician to the flute. Isn't that interesting? Um, so that could be just an acknowledgement of something that you're going through now. Um, but I also think with that three, with the temperance card right in the center here, it's about not giving up on this person. Wow. And you have fish, number 34. Fish is abundance. This is, this person's very successful. Um, it's interesting because we do have the water with temperance, which is like the water and fire balancing the two, balancing emotions and getting overwhelmed and um, the fire and the passion and the like excitement. I feel like there's something about this that you're going to have to kind of like, um, <laughs> you know, calm yourself down about it you know and sometimes when things are really great we get excited and of course we do and we want it to happen when we want it to happen and you know we just it doesn't work that way sometimes you have to let things unfold so the fish could also be pisces energy okay but that's also about going with the flow you know with temperance this card really signifies abundance, but I also am feeling that go with the flow message for you. And there could be some, and that's also travel, right? So we have travel with the three of wands. We have the fish. We have abundance, prosperity. Um, be patient. Yeah, don't get overwhelmed. 
wow but it's a good way in a good way okay it's not like it's this is all such a positive reading that it's worth it you know it's worth and also with this message too i'm just noticing all the water here going with the flow again heaven on earth mm, beautiful okay now let's get you i think i'll do get some ooh, after dice some zodiac signs and symbols for you oh you got cancer twice right on the fish card okay um so there's water sign energy um cancer is water it's um home it's family it's also emotional but yeah so this could be a cancer maybe you're a cancer there's a lot of um cancer coming through we have the first house 11th house in astrology which is self and this is hopes dreams and wishes which is like success creating a dream you know heaven on earth um this can also be connected to friends um, and we could have like January 11th and that's also 111. These are, these are really feeling like um, manifestation and angel numbers coming through. Okay. So if you're someone that sees 1111 or 11, um, this message is for you. Um, we also have Taurus. We have the North Node of Destiny, which is that temperance message, following your, you know, following your North Node, um, living your soul's path. And we have Mars. Mars is action. Oops. Mars is action. Here, I turned it around. There it is. Um, it's taking action. It's movement. We have movement a lot here. We have movement with the Six of Wands, with the Three of Wands, with the fish, um, all the water energy, um, Aries energy too with Mars, because Mars rules Aries. So with all those wands, we could be looking at an Aries sun, moon rising. Okay, so there's definitely Aries energy coming through as well. Okay. Um, wow, there's a really loud thunderstorm going on. So I'm wondering if you're hearing it. If you're wondering, like, what's that construction noise outside? It's actually Mother Nature, and it's kind of scary. But, um, okay, here we go. Let's get you some channeled messages about your person. Gym shorts. Okay, so we're getting, like, athletic kind of messages. Heal old wound. Interesting. Because we do have disappointment here. Connect with your roots. Ooh, so for some of you, there could be a connection here with your roots. We have July coming through and Cancer again. Wow. So we had it twice here. That's the third time Cancer came through. Thank your body. Wow. So taking care of yourself physically. Um, heal old wound. You know, for some of you, that could be um, about really taking care of yourself. Forgive yourself. Wow. A lot of messages here for you personally about, um, you know, taking care of you, which is interesting. Flowing with the universe, that temperance message. We have safe. And that's interesting because your angel message was about trust, safety, trust. Take your shoes off, go bare feet. Yes, that is so, this is about grounding. So there's a lot, I guess, again, about being patient that maybe you're going to need help with. Um, oh, I think I can read your mind. Ooh, so there's that like connection that is so strong. It's like telepathic. I'm hurt. Ooh, okay. So this is really interesting. This could be connected to this disappointment card that came through. So I'm sure you probably know if that message is for you. And we have Gemini. Okay, so we have Gemini and Cancer, as well as the other signs, all the fire that came through, Aries, Sag, and Leo. Okay, so now I'm going to... Um, Oh, and you know what? I'll do letters first and then charms. Let's get some initials and letters for you first. And then I'm going to do a charm reading for you. See what charm messages come through. Let's get letters for you, number three. We have B, Y, O, boy, <laughs> E, M, S, 
J Z I P U F I and O. Okay, so that could be an initial, your initial, their initial, a place, something that has significance for you. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do the charm reading. And if you haven't done this with me before, it can be a little loud. So if you have headphones in, you might want to turn the volume down. While you do, I'm going to remind you to please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All those things are free. They really help my channel. Thank you to everyone for your donations. Um, you can leave me a tip or donation by clicking the thanks button here or going to my website. I was able to purchase my T Fortune cards, which I love. Um, it helped. The donations last month helped. They didn't cover it, but they helped. So thank you. And um, that helps me purchase new cards, get new equipment, upgrade my channel. So thank you so much. And it really brings me joy. And then I can bring new cards for you. So I'm excited. Um, if you'd like a private reading, I do three kinds. I do shout out readings, which I film while I'm doing my readings and you watch them on YouTube. I finish them within a week. You send in your question. Um, I send you the link and I let you know the day and time it's going to be on. It's one question, one card, $11. One question, three cards, 33 Super easy. Book it on my website. Use any credit card. You get your answer in a week. You watch it while I'm filming. So it's really fun. And um, if you want a private reading, I do a 20-minute in-depth love reading. Any love question, I can focus on soulmates, past lives. If you have your astrology information, your birth time, place, um, and date, I can really dive deep into a lot of the personal soulmate questions you have, um, your your timing with love and all of that. So um, really great. You book that in my on my website with the link below. Okay, so here we go. I'm hoping the lights stay on. Um, the storm is bad. Let's see what we get here. Okay, wow, so interesting. We've gotten this a lot today. So messages about taking care of yourself. Someone's really exhausted physically, mentally. Um, take care of yourself, get sleep, eat right, all that. Um, it's, <laughs> I wonder if it's for me. I need to listen to that. Um, we have two leaves here, okay? This is about letting go, transformation and change. This can also be about fall. Um, you have the moon, which is that beautiful emotional connection. Ooh, look what you have here. Wow, look what's caught in here. Okay, so you have this big, this is a success. This is that six of wands. This is Leo energy. This is money. This is success. This could be an expensive gift. This is a surprise. Um, you also have the feather. Some of you may get and you know feathers as messages from the universe and see messages as a symbol. Um, um, we also have the sword. The sword is about speaking your truth. It's about getting clarity. Um, it's about cutting through anything, fighting people off. Um, you know, it could be related to this, you know, for some of you. Maybe you um, had, to, you know, an argument, a disagreement, something where you had to really speak up for yourself. This can also be air sign energy, which is um, Gemini a Libra and Aquarius. Okay. So maybe you're, you know, one of those signs or, um, it's a symbol of someone coming in. So lots of information. Thanks again for everyone that donates. I get dreams come true for me, like getting these new cards. So thank you. Thank you. And I hope you come back next time and I will talk to you really soon. Bye. Hey, number four, you pick the purple rose, beautiful purple roses. I love purple roses. Um, let's take a look at your messages about your next boyfriend. We're going to start with tarot. You have the ace of swords reversed and the hierophant and the king of swords wow okay so um what i'm feeling like is that um there could be for some of you um a past situation where you felt really like 
unsure in terms of relationships. I feel like you might have been confused, um, maybe you weren't great at communicating, or maybe you just, you know, weren't with people that you felt like you could really be yourself or share your feelings or share your, like, just speak up for yourself. I almost feel like um, some of you could have been kind of withdrawn or um, just in relationships where you weren't being heard. That's, that's it. Okay, um, but what's interesting is the person coming in is the, also sword energy, but it's the king of swords upright. And this is someone who is really good at communicating, who very honest, straightforward, speaks their truth. This could be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, someone who loves to talk, somebody who, you know, is very matter of fact, someone who is going to tell you how they feel. They're not going to hold back. Um, and there's this very strong traditional um, element to this person. I feel like they could be, you know, kind of, um, they're just very traditional. And um, they could be close to their family. There could be Taurus energy as well with the Hierophant here. And there could actually be marriage. This could be a long-term committed relationship. I feel like that's what this person wants. They want sort of that traditional life okay um and they're very direct about it and they're very like this is what i want there's no messing around there's no games with this person they're just very very direct and i feel like in the past you might have dealt with somebody that wasn't direct that wasn't telling you um how they really felt that was kind of um, making it hard for you to be um to be clear, to understand where your, you know, what your relationship was all about. And I feel like the confusion is going to be cleared with this new person. Okay. This person is going to be very, very sure of what they want. And they're going to really speak up and tell you what they need. And you are going to feel like, you know, where you stand with them. Okay, there's no games. This person's not playing games. They're very serious. I feel like this person wants to get married. I mean, that's just the message that keeps coming through. So um, if that's not what you're interested in, listen to another pile or another video because this person definitely wants to get married. I'm sorry about the noise. Do you hear that? <laughs> there is a huge thunder and lightning storm going on. It's pouring out. And the thunder is so loud, it's literally shaking the house. So, interesting. Let's see what comes up. Now, if you didn't watch the intro, I want to say thanks to everyone who donated. Um, your donations help offset the cost of my new cards, which are the tea fortunes and I love them okay so anyway thank you for that um, but let's see what comes through for your person the month of September came through which is interesting because that could be Libra energy we have November and July okay so those three months that could be uh, when this person and you connect this could be some significant time for you and your connection could be your birth month their birth month um, so we have September November and July September could be that Libra energy November could be Scorpio or Sagittarius and July Leo and Cancer okay Ooh, you have the love card. This is true love. Look at those hearts. This connection is a true love connection. And you got the kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. Interesting. With that ace of swords reverse to get unsettled times. Ace of swords is unsettled. It's the communication. It's not being sure. Um, need to plan ahead. Ace of Swords is direct. They knew what their plans are. They know what they're doing. So for some of you, this can be a message about getting clear, um, really talking to someone. Maybe you need to talk to someone um, that you trust. You know, the Hierophant can be someone in a position of authority. It can be like a healer. It could be a priest. It can be a head of, um, you know, like a therapist, someone who you trust and you can talk to. That could also be part of you connecting with 
with this King of Swords or learning how to connect. But um, planning ahead is important. And for some of you, there could be a child. Maybe you have a child that you want to protect, that you want to make plans for the future for. Um, maybe you're thinking about having children. Um, but I see that message as connected to that Ace of Swords energy. Okay. Wow, the storm is something. It's adding a little bit to the background. Hopefully it's not bothering you, but um, I literally can't do anything about it. It's pouring. Um, okay. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment with the Hierophant. This is total commitment. This is what I felt for this person. They are interested in a commitment. So maybe for some of you, you're in a relationship with this person right now and you're not sure if you want to commit or not and you really have to give it some serious thought because this person wants to get married. This is what I was hearing. This person wants to get married, okay? You need to plan, okay? Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Wow. Rewriting the future. This is interesting because the Ace of Swords reversed. Wow, that was a big one. <laughs> the Ace of Swords reversed is, um, that could be like rewriting. Because like if the Ace of Swords is being clear with communication, with speaking, with writing, rewriting the past you know that ace of swords reverse letting go of any negative ancestral patterns um, that could be also connected to you planning ahead for the future there's something about your future that's going to help you know your future is important and i think that this message is that it will help you if you plan ahead if you break some of those patterns of the past okay because i do see the opportunity here for a future with this king of swords but you're going to have to be clear you're going to have to know what you want you're going to have to make plans and um be ready to commit and part of that involves letting go or breaking the chains of any kind of negative past thoughts past connections behaviors wow so we have the king here and we have the king here this is the house card this is about building a home together this is solid this is stability um i'm looking at the kangaroo card with this little pouch and it's like the mama's carrying the little baby around and maybe this is about you know building a life to, with someone else who has stability who has security you know a king has security this person is definitely someone who has um they're on their throne they're mature they have a secure home they have a place to live they have a castle you know um so this can mean you having this home, building a home, moving in together with this person. Um, so, wow, this feels big. This has the real potential for long term. We have the engagement card. We have um, the needing to plan ahead, the hierophant and the house with the love so this is a true love connection and september november and july are coming through as um key moments or important months okay wow that's intense and so is this storm okay let's roll the astro dice it sounds like the thunder and see what we get other signs besides taurus libra and aquarius and gemini Okay, so we have Sagittarius, we have Neptune, seventh house, the sun, 10th house, first house, and the moon. Okay, so there's that true love connection, the sun and the moon, you know, this is your expression. This is uh, Leo energy, Cancer energy, and Pisces coming through, as well as Sagittarius. Um, we have first house, 10th and 7th. The first house is self in astrology. The 10th is career. Um, the 7th is long-term committed partnerships and marriage. So marriage is coming up again. Um, those dates could be important too. We have July, October, and January, but also the 1st, the 10th, and the 7th. Okay, so the sun shining, your truth, Leo energy, the moon, your emotions, Neptune, very romantic, 
So this person feels romantic. There feels like a true love, romantic connection. Wow. Okay. Now I'm going to get you some channeled messages about your person number four. Ooh, Scorpio coming through. Dark skin. Hazel eyes. Black. Just the color. That could be skin, hair, clothing. Medium. Medium height. Medium skin. Medium build. We have class. And class could mean like studying, taking a course, school, connection, but also class like elegance, which is what I'm feeling for this person. Like they have a lot of class. Um, you are who I dream of, soul to soul message. Acts of service, here's the love language. Picks you up from work, gives you, goes grocery shopping. So this person does those kind of practical things. Friend. There could be a friend in this connection. And we have black hair. Okay, so we had black twice, so now it's coming through as hair. We have hazel green and hazel eyes, so that came through t twice. And different town, okay? So there are all your channeled information about this person. So we have Scorpio, we have Sagittarius, as well as Taurus. Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Okay. Now, let's see if we can get some initials and letters. This could be your initial, their initial, a place, something connected to you two. Okay, we have O, D, E, I, O, S, J, J, K, E, Z, M, F, V, K, B, I, U, and P. So you've got a lot of letters to work with. I can't wait to hear if someone's name came through because we have a lot there. Okay, now... I am going to do a charm reading for you. If you haven't had this done with me before, um, it can be a little loud. So not as loud as this thunder and rain, but turn the volume down if you have headphones in. Um, it can, you know, be a little noisy when I dig into my teacup here. Um, while I do that, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All those things really, really help. If you'd like a private reading, I do three different kinds of readings. I do a shout out, which is a reading that I pull a card while I'm doing a video, while I'm taping for YouTube, which you watch on YouTube. I do those, you know, I turn them around in a week. So you send in your question and during my next video, I answer it. Um, one card answer to your question is $11. A three card is 33. You book it using the link below on my website with a credit card. Super easy. You get a link. I tell you when it's coming up. I email you. It's really great. And if you want a private reading, I do a 20 minute in depth on one love question. If you have your birth time, place, and information, I can go deep with astrology, soulmate connections, timing, love, all of that. So those are really good, and they're much more in-depth. You can book all of those using the links below. Okay, start. it's calming down a little outside. Here we go. Oh, right as soon as I said that, another boom. Okay, number four. I feel like this is going to be an exciting relationship based on this storm. Okay, so we have Virgo coming through over here with the charm. We have Cupid. So that's um, Aquarius energy, February, February 14th. We have hearts in separation. Also soulmate energy coming through, true love, travel. Um, Virgo again. Um, someone who's a craftsman, somebody who does detailed work. We have good luck, good fortune, Las Vegas coming through. We have this star healing Aquarius energy that could be the king of swords. 
um, sewing machine, fixing something, someone creative, design. Wow, this came up almost every time. I'm feeling like I really need to take care of my health. Um, this is a message of being run down, exhausted, mentally, physically, take care of yourself. Um, believe in love and protective energy and dream energy. This is the dream catcher. So those are all your messages. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please write all your comments below. If you're claiming, please write it below and let me know. Um, come back again really soon and I'll talk to you then. Bye.